Welcome back guys, how you all doing? My name is Marks, this is Markscraft, and today we're going to be making a start on the farming village. Okay, so I have actually been quite busy since last time over here where I've decided to, uh, to turn this into a little bit of a farming area just so all my farming happens sort of AFK in one location um, just to make it a little bit easier so this there's not going to be a slime farm over here because as you saw we we made that last episode that's going to stay where it is there are I believe three maybe four slime chunks under here um, and I know that from mining out all this uh, I finally got a beacon, so that's something I've done between episodes. Uh, I fought the wither. I would have recorded it, um, but I, uh, I kind of cheesed it, and I did it under the... That one off. I did it under, <laughs> under the dragon um, portal to get back to the overworld from the end, which means I've also been to the end and got an elytra. Now that, that was an ordeal and a half. I've only ever done it on modded. The dragon fight was fairly easy and I did record that, but uh, when I look back at the recording, the the dragon itself, say this was the tower, the iron farm here, um, she was round all the, the, well, like the furthest obsidian tower right at the top and she was just kind of looping around it. It was really strange. Um, and you just couldn't see her. I mean, I, I struggled to see her normally, so in the YouTube compression, you just will not see it at all. It'll just be black. Um, so I can, I, I will put it at the end of the video today, just as uh, evidence that it's there. Uh, and if you can see it, fantastic. But um, yes, it, it was... A little bit annoying the fact that it um, it kind of went buggy, but I brought my villagers over here, and I also created a, a villager breeder. So we've got two of the guys that I won't really use there, and a bunch of them ready and waiting down there for when I do eventually get around to sorting out um, these guys into a, a trading hall just to get the books and things for tools and armor and the elytras i'm still rocking iron boots which is fantastic but they've got feather volume 4 which i need a lot i fall off everything and um, now this iron farm is actually uh, it's really simple it could be more compact um but it, the rates are actually pretty good and i mean the beat i struggled to get the beacon and now i in terms of um blocks for it and now I've got so much iron it's it's unbelievable and then under here oh it's actually under here under the ground just here uh, we've got a creep farm so it's three layers it's one by um I remember his name now um I'll put a link in the description for it anyway um I'll find it logical geek boy that's it logical geek boy so logical geek boys um farm and it only, there we go, iron golem, um, it only spits out when the hopper minecart's full, so I can actually show you, I've got an access point just here. So if we go down, away from the iron golem dying, um, all the way down here, let's get this bit of lights a second. So, just here is, it's just access for me, so here it comes. So when that gets full, it actually comes, comes in here, um, sits there, dispenses the out, well, drops it into this hopper minecart here, into the dispenser, and fires it down up to the um, old elevator there. Now, that then. Oh, I've got to get back out now. Oh, yeah. That's then uh, shoots up here to the top and. Oh, another one. And it comes out here. And we'll fill this chest up. So we get five stacks at a time. 
Um, now the annoying thing is that I occasionally get other spawns down there, so um, skeletons and things like that, so that's part of the reason I've got the maintenance, so I can go and check it. Um, but while I've been over here, this is the gunpowder I've got so far. So it's quite a bit, it's a good farm. Um, it does more than what I need for the rockets. I'm trying to work out which one best suits me, whether flight duration 1, 2 or 3. Uh, we've got a cow crusher here as well. But yeah, like I said, we're going to start on the farm today. So, we actually need to head over to the um, the new, well, let's say the new location, to the farm location. Now, initially, I was going to do the farm um, where the forest was, if you remember. And um, that, oh, that has actually changed. Um, for this one at least, I'm moving it over to the, well let's head over there, moving it over to the plains biome, uh, which is huge, it's, I believe where Tango, well that's good, um, where Tango's building his Toon Towers thing on the Hermitcraft server, um, so it's not that one, that's the Mushroom biome, it's this one here, in we go. Oh, missed. So yeah, it's it's that same plane as biome there. There should be a bed over here you can see. It. And as I said, it's not small. It is big. So it'd be here. I need to map it out just so I've got that mapped. But as I said, it is it's not small. So we've got all this from bit here, around here, so where the uh, the river cuts through, but then on top of that is all of this area here, which is good for what I've got planned. Um, so we've got donkeys and all sorts around here, so that's that's actually going to be quite helpful. And a bit of a hill. So what I'm actually wanting to do is. So I'm, th I'm thinking this front area will do as a separate village kind of thing. So maybe like a, a little fishing fishing one with um, like a dock or something for off-porting fresh fish over to the, the main trade city. Um, and then in the middle here, so I want it to be all hills. So you've got like hills and enveloping all around the edge here and then sort of in the middle you've got this this farm and this farm is is going to be what was the original settlement here actually i might do it down here in this well it kind of lends itself to it a bit and then just enhance the land myself make it a bit more natural um but yeah, so it's going to be like the first settlement area. So this will this will be where they started out, where they came down and settled, and and this is that's actually really good. Works out really well. This will be where they um, they originated. You know, the whole there is a whole story I got in mind for the Mushroom Island and how that became what it is, based off this. So this is the start of it all. This is where it all began, is just here. Now I've got some work to do to the land here. Um, it, yeah, it's not the best. Uh, I need to get rid of these water, bit, these water bits, fill in some caves a little bit, and start a rough plan of the city. Now, I hate getting rid of grass because it's useful for detailing, but I need to get rid of this grass. I also need to plan out this land a bit more because I've not actually really I've been I've been too busy trying to sort out all the farming so I've got all the resources and everything that I need or I've got access to get them quite easily. I've got a ton of stone. Um and andesite and granite and diorites 
but that's about it. Wood isn't the easiest thing for me to get, not for what I need. I need oak. Spruce is easy. Spruce is absolutely fantastic. Jungle's easy. It's it's the oak, and I need lots of oak. Um, I've got some, but not enough. But I'm going to plan out this land here, and I will come back once I've got a bit more of a rough guide of where the village is going to be and sort of shape the land's going to take a little bit so i will see you guys once i've done that all right guys so we have laid out the the outline of what we're going to do for the village on the camera account here um just so you can see it so this is what we're going to be looking at for clouds and um, for the overall size of it and um, it's going to be quite spaced and not all too close together and um, i'm going to do the wall properly obviously but that flat area there to the left so that one just there this one uh, is going to be the highest point of the village so we're going to bring all the land across at least to that level um, and then build it up to what well, the current height is around the land and then around the village we're going to turn all this into a hillside and this front bit just here so down here um, is obviously going to be the entrance to the village so you're going to come in on on this side and then from there it's going to lead down to the I mean yeah it's going to lead down to the fishing village down here so we need to uh, obviously do a lot of work to get to that point there's a lot of land to terraform and a lot to do so I'm gonna uh, leave this guy up here in the sky leave him recording and uh, turn this into a bit of a time lapse while we sort out the village. So I'll see you guys after I've done that. Guys, I messed up. I ran out of blocks. So I thought that um, I'd have enough just from kind of taking the walls down and things. But, I mean, there's a little bit still over there, but it's not going to be enough for what we need. Because <clears throat> we still need to step down this middle bit behind me here and quite a bit more. So I am going to do the rest of it off camera. Um, and come back once I've done that and hopefully you'll see a, a good change to the layout of the city. I might also just put in where I'm going to place the uh, buildings too, so we'll see you then. Okay guys, so we have a rough beginning to the outline to the village, kind of. Um, you can't particularly see it too well from down here, so let's go to this stack of diamonds. And this is the stack of diamonds from the chest earlier. Oh, if I could fly, there we go. Now let's see if it can land on top. Not high enough. Oh god, this is gonna be tricky. Missed. Damn it. 
So close. Not fantastic with an ally trap. There we go. Awesome. Right, so from up here, let's have a look. Yeah, that's kind of the rough expectation of it. I mean, there wouldn't be huge villages back then. You'd have a couple of houses in each would serve a purpose, which these are going to do. Um, but yeah, let's get down and kind of start on one of them and we'll see how many diamonds we get from this. So this is about a stack and a half, just over. So it should be a decent amount of diamonds. We've got a Fortune 3 pick here. Not a soul touch now. Let's see how many we get. So nearly three and a half stacks of diamonds. That's pretty good, especially since we're going to need them for the so many mobs under here. I can hear them um, for the mega torch. So need at least two, and the the actual torch only uses diamonds. And I've not got any gold on me at the moment, so I can't make them right now. Um. But yeah, we're going to use blocks instead, as I mentioned in episode zero. Um, just so it's more expensive than it actually is. That looks really weird on a map. Um, so yeah, let's, uh, I've got the materials to hopefully do at least one of these. So, at least thought it did. I'm missing oak. Yes, I am missing oak. Um, so I'm going to grab some oak, come back, and then we will start on one of these buildings. Right, guys. So as I mentioned in episode zero, we are using blocks to make mega torch. Now, I can't do it with a block because I wasn't successful in changing the crafting recipe. So we're going to burn the rest of the diamonds. So this is how the recipe actually is. So there's our mega torch and we've got our flint and steel and the other 16 diamonds. <clears throat> so there we go. First mega torch made. Now what this does, if you've not seen episode zero, do down here, is it gets rid of mobs in a radius. Um, now, because it's overpowered, that's why we've made it more expensive. Yes, I've got a lot of diamonds at the minute, but I dug a hell of a lot of ground for those diamonds. Um, like a full beacon's range worth for a stack and a half. Right, so let's get rid of that. So in this shulker box, are some of the materials we need. Uh, we need the diorite, believe it or not. Going to need some lanterns at some point, but we can add those in after. All we're gonna do, in at least this episode, is just build the, the base of the structure. So, I might move the door on this one just so I can, because it's a weird shape. I might put it on the front. And that way then, it can bring this one 
around the side a little bit. See, I'm going to do that. So let's just build it up first. So this is generally how I how it work is I build it plainly and detail and everything afterwards. Damn it, didn't get it off. Um, so. Off center door, yeah, let's do it. Let's do an off center door. And so the floor is going to be this level. We've got an off center door. We want to be able to look out onto the crops as well. So we need a window at least. And let's be nosy and have one on this side. Yeah, then opposite, that's good. Okay, so now we've done that, I will need that in a little bit. Let's um, get all our planks. So, stairs first. The oak. Right, so oak is our corner block. So, go here. And normally these would just be um, sort of line render and things like that, which is what the walls are going to be. And the structure of it would have been stone. Um, so the timbers would have sat straight onto the, the stone base. Now it's Minecraft, so I'm not going 100% accurate on that side of it. Uh, and we'll do the foundation in a moment. Or at least the base of the foundation. Right, so, stairs. Now we're going pretty basic on this because they're cheap, easy to make. Not for that purpose for me. Um, but for the people who lived here they would have been easy material to get cheap to build easy to build and you know, provided them with good shelter initially and you know they were content with it so they never upgraded that's not what I did for it on the other take with deck so they're not your standard sort of roof on these. That's my door. That's my door. Um purely because they look daft. It's not there we go. It's not that they wouldn't have been. They actually had really big roofs. It's more that it didn't look right. It looked odd. So I did this just to round it off. And then just gave it that bit better feel into the roof. Oh yeah, I peeled up. I was thinking, what's that for? That's why it was weird. Ooh, that's bad placement. Want that one first, thank you. And then that one. That one, that one, that one. I don't like the off center door anymore. It seemed like a good idea, but now it's just weird. Because this is a tiny little house. Right, so. That is. A 
a structure done for that. Now what do we need? I've got enough. Cobble. Right, so as I said, I'll go around and texture the properly towards just making different blocks and um, make sure it looks proper and it's more like what I've got on the creative world. Oh, can't place the life of me. Oh, I would have had enough if I didn't misplace. Where's it gone? Oh, give me. Yeah. Yo. So, just very quickly there, we have built up what will be kind of one window there, but at the same time I don't. It's a little bit weird having them each side though. I, mm, no, I'll leave that one. So yeah, that's, that's the start of it. And we need to put our door framing in and all that side of things, so easiest thing to do straight away. Yeah, so let's get sticks. And we need some gates. Where are they? So, one of the easiest things for detailing it. Literally, just that. Um, spruce, don't. There's plenty over there. Oh, I didn't go splat. Thought for sure I was going to splat into it. Then, oh, was a bad one to use with the shears. Get that one. I get it. Yeah, I got it. Okay. And these two, which is fine. Oh, this will be good for getting ferns. I really should bring a pair of shears over here. Go the wrong way, I've gone faster. No, oh, in my own villages. Okay, I went splat that time. Right, so, Bruce. And we want. I can't remember if it was, but it might be an oak. Okay. Try it with both. Uh, that there. I think it was spruce. Need slabs. Do I have enough? Yeah, I've got enough. Ooh. So. No, it was oak. 100% oak. Yep, oak. Without a doubt. So I need oak slabs. There we go. And the God. There we go. Fences. So I've got plenty of fences. There we go. That's the door. It was a spruce door, it's for definite. That much I do know because it's pretty much the only door I ever use. Just mainly because the rest are hideous. And we want it there. That adds a little bit more depth to it. So yeah, that's that's the start of one of these little farmhouses at the beginning. We want that there. We want another one deal here around the other side. So I am going to uh, finish this off camera and uh, detail it a bit more. Maybe get up the base frame for the rest of them. Uh, maybe. And uh, 
And yeah, that'll be a good start to this village. There's a lot more work still to do here. We've got all the all the wall here to properly build out. And we've got all of the hills and everything to build up on the edges. There's a lot more still to do. But I think for this episode, that is going to be it. It's run quite long already, comparatively to, to what the others have been. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Um, yeah, it's been a good episode. Got quite a bit done. And yeah, we've started the first village. So thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Ciao for now. Bye-bye. <laughs>